Hey guys, it's the Squid here and welcome to another uh, unboxing video and this time we are going to unbox the Bandai Clone Trooper Star Wars model kit and as you can see it is a uh, 1 to 12 scale so I think it should be around the size of a standard high grade if not slightly bigger I would think I mean I haven't put together one of these I'm just estimating the scale but as you can see box art is pretty cool we got the phase 1 trooper there and the phase 2 um, I will put together phase 2 because I prefer the look of the phase 2 of course I will build the helm of the phase 1 now this kit was made in 2016 so it's about two years old this kit now so as you can see you have some background information about clone troopers there some action poses mm, this thing looks pretty good as you can see looks very detailed indeed we do get the macro binoculars uh, the DC-15 rifle, uh, the DC-15 rifles here, some optional hands, um, and we get two helmets for us to choose from, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we got the same picture going on here, and over here we've got a shot of the clone trooper, as you can see, going all the way down. And this kit costs 2,400 yen, so a bit pricey. So let's open up this box and see what we have. So we first up have the instruction manual, of course, as you can see. With just the clone trooper standing there, one 12 scale plastic model kit. And it is a pretty long set of instructions. Um, I will open up fully soon. As you can see, there actually isn't that many parts and runners, only like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five main runners. I mean, this is pretty small, and a set of polycaps. So, looks like we will be building the face one helmet first, followed by the torso, followed by the waist unit, then followed by the arms, the legs, the weapons, the heads, and then finally the base that it comes with. So, yeah, instructions do look pretty simple. I'm not gonna go through all of them, and at the back we have some. Uh, marking instructions. I will definitely put on those uh, macro binoculars because they look cool. So yeah, I can't wait to start on this guy. So let's see. First up, we have our B1 runner, which is in white, and this white is like a glossy white. It's like the Amatsumina real grade kind of. You know how the black was glossy. Yeah, it's this case for the white. But at least white, the nut marks won't be as bad as black. If you guys remember the Amatsumina, it was kind of horrible at some parts. So this is mainly the helmet pieces. We've got the phase 1 helmet parts here, phase 2 helmet parts there. We've got the uh, micro binoculars parts there. We've got the torso armor, some back armor. Uh, we've got the waist armor, we've got, I think that's the, for the belt. And then we've got more parts for the belt as well, so this is looking pretty good. Next up, we have this uh, base, which is just a really simple square, you know, that you just put the guy on. Uh, next, we've got this uh, big sheet of polycaps, and these polycaps are not like the standard Gunpla polycaps, they are pretty unique. Um, I've never built a Star Wars model kit before, so I'll see how these work. You've got ball joints there, pretty interesting. So I'll see how that uh, works in the kit. Then we've got our A1 runner, which is in this matte black uh, with the guns. We have the guns here, the uh, joint parts, parts for the helmet that's grey. We've got, uh, I think this is a cover piece for the stand. Got some helmet parts in here. This is for the inside of the helmet. And yeah, I think that's it for that runner. Next up, we have the B2 runner, which is in that really nice glossy white again. This time we've got the arms, the legs, and the shoes, all the armor there. So yeah, it looks like we've got some, some joints here. I think those are joints. Then we... Uh, finally get the A2 runner, which is a mixed runner, so we've got some gloss white parts there, parts for the belt, the hand covers, this uh, middle section for the clone trooper, the soles of the feet, which I must say, they are very well detailed, so look at that, those look pretty good. 
We've got more, more matte black parts for the insides, the visors in a clear black. If you can hear background noises, please forgive me because yeah, I'm at home and people are also at home so it can get quite noisy. So clear black, I don't know if you can see. Let me just turn on the lights. Maybe I'll make it easier for you to see the clear black. So yeah, there is the clear black as you can see. Looks very good indeed. And then finally, we get um, the choice between water slides or the standard sticker decals. As you can see, the de the water slides are much more well cut as compared to these. These are may peel off very easily, um, whereas these will stay on, but they will be, of course, tougher to put on. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this kit. Let me just move everything back there. It's pretty cool that we do get the water slides. I have put together the smaller Star Wars kits before, as you would have seen. I've put together the ATM-6 before, the Jedi Starfighter, but I've never done all these character ones, and if I enjoy it, well, I may get more of this. So, anyways, guys, now I'm just gonna go uh, and snap this kit up, so just wait for the review to come out, and... That's about it for this video guys, and this is the script blooping off.